Hey everyone, welcome back to our Gothenburg adventure. In our last episode, we explored the city's eco-friendly side with a ride on the electric tram. Today, we're diving into the heart of the city, its shopping scene. Let's go. After soaking up the city's vibrant energy, it's time for a little retail therapy. Let's dive into this bustling shopping mall. Wow, check out this space. It's like a shopper's paradise. So many stores, so little time. But first, I've heard great things about the bookstore here. Let's explore. As you step inside, you are greeted by a dazzling array of shops and restaurants. The mall is huge. It's got everything from high-end fashion to affordable finds. The atmosphere is buzzing with energy, and I can already feel the shopping urge kicking in. I spot a few familiar brands, but there are also plenty of unique Swedish shops to explore. I'm particularly interested in finding some local fashion pieces. Let's see what we can discover. As the sliding doors open, a wave of air-conditioned comfort washes over me. My eyes are immediately drawn to the towering glass ceiling, allowing natural light to flood the space. Below, a sea of people is navigating through a maze of shops. Trendy clothing stores, tech giants, and cozy cafes line the spacious corridors. Muzak fills the air, creating a lively atmosphere. Escalators and moving walkways whisk shoppers up and down the different levels. It's a sensory overload in the best possible way. With some bags in hand, I exit the mall and step back into the vibrant energy of Gothenburg. The city center is a beautiful blend of old and new architecture. Tall, historic buildings with colorful facades stand side by side with modern glass structures. The streets are filled with people enjoying the day, and a lively atmosphere fills the air. My stomach is starting to rumble, so it's time to find a place to eat. Gothenburg has a fantastic food scene, with everything from cozy cafes to upscale restaurants. I spot a charming little bistro with outdoor seating, perfect for enjoying the warm weather. The menus looks delicious, with a mix of classic Swedish dishes and international flavors. Refreshed and energized by my delicious meal, I continue my stroll along Astra Larmgaten. The street is lined with charming boutiques, antique shops, and art galleries. The architecture is a delightful mix of classic and contemporary, creating a unique atmosphere. I can't resist popping into a small art gallery. The space is filled with intriguing pieces, from abstract paintings to sculptures. I spend a few moments appreciating the talent on display. This piece is truly captivating. I could spend hours here, but I still have more of the city to explore.
My next stop is a place that promises a sensory overload of the most delicious kind, Stora Salia Holland. This historic market hall is a foodie's paradise. As I step inside, I'm greeted by a vibrant atmosphere and the mouth-watering aroma of fresh produce. There's an abundance of fresh seafood, from glistening salmon to plump shrimp. The cheese counter is a dream come true for any cheese lover, with a vast selection of both local and international varieties. And let's not forget the fresh bread, pastries, and the colorful displays of fruits and vegetables. It's a feast for the senses. I can hardly resist grabbing a few treats to enjoy later. This market is a must-visit for anyone who loves good food. Before diving into the culinary delights, I decide to take a leisurely stroll through the market. The atmosphere is electric, with people chatting, laughing, and enjoying the vibrant surroundings. The sights, sounds, and smells are a sensory overload in the best possible way. As I wander through the aisles, I stumble upon something truly unexpected. A small group of people has gathered around a musician who is playing a guitar. The music is enchanting, and the crowd is swaying gently to the rhythm. It's a magical moment that captures the heart and soul of Sweden. This unexpected encounter has only increased my appetite. With renewed enthusiasm, I continue my search for the perfect culinary treat. There is a little bit of everything for everybody in this part of the city, but I want to see more of it. I have heard that there is a place where you can appreciate the Swedish way of live. They call it's it time Tika. to immerse Let's myself move. in some greenery. Kungsparken is calling my name. This beautiful park is the perfect place to escape the city bustle for a while. As I enter the park, I'm greeted by a lush oasis of trees, flowers, and well-manicured lawns. It's a tranquil escape in the heart of the city. People are enjoying picnics, reading, or simply strolling along the paths. I find a quiet spot to sit down and soak up the atmosphere. The combination of fresh air, sunshine, and the park's natural beauty is incredibly refreshing. It's the perfect way to end a wonderful day exploring Gothenburg. After a relaxing escape in Kungsparken, it's time to dive back into the city's charm. Our next stop is the enchanting neighborhood of Haga. Known for its picturesque wooden houses and bohemian atmosphere, Haga is a must-visit for any Gothenburg traveler. As I wander through the narrow, cobblestone streets, I feel like I've stepped back in time. The colorful houses with their sloping roofs create a fairy tale like ambience. Quaint shops, cozy cafes, and independent boutiques line the streets, inviting exploration. Haga is a treasure trove for vintage lovers and those seeking unique finds. It's the perfect place to discover one-of-a-kind souvenirs and gifts. I can't resist popping into a few shops to explore their offerings. As I continue my exploration of Haga, I come across a striking architectural gym, Haga Church. Its neo-Gothic style stands out against the backdrop of charming wooden houses. The church's towering spire is a prominent landmark in the neighborhood. While exploring the church, I notice something unique, vibrant murals adorning the walls. They depict scenes from the local community and history, adding a contemporary touch to the historic building. These murals bring the church to life, connecting its past with the present. It's a beautiful example of how art can enrich a sacred space.